If the world is made of thought, and we are made of thought, then we can think our way to what existence is. It's the same thing as us. We are simply coming to full self-awareness, to absolute consciousness. Scientists might say, ah, if the world is made of matter, and we are made of matter, then, then what? We can matter our way to what existence is. That doesn't make any sense. We can observe our way to what existence is. That doesn't make any sense either. To observe something isn't to explain it. You then have to think up an explanation of what you are observing. So we are back to thinking. And perhaps, worst of all, it's impossible to observe the cause of the world, the cause of everything that can be observed. After all, it's impossible to observe causation. You can think causation, you cannot observe it. You can have causation as a concept, not as a percept. It's conceivable, not perceivable. The differences between a mental universe and a material universe are total. If one is right, the other is automatically wrong. You can think your way to what a thought is and what matter is. You cannot observe your way to what a thought is, and you cannot observe your way to what matter is. In fact, no scientist knows what matter is. It's impossible to give a scientific definition of matter. Matter is something that scientists observe or believe they do. But what are they really observing? It's not something they conceive, something they define. When asked what time was, Einstein said it was something that you measured with a clock. Of course, that's not a definition of time. That's something you do with time, not something that explains time. Equally, to claim that you can observe matter is not to define matter or explain it. This is a defining problem of science. It is instrumental. It's all about measurements. It is not ontological, definitional, conceptual. It is extremely poorly thought out. It is not coherent. It supports correspondence rather than coherence. It rejects the principle of sufficient reason, and absolutely none of this ever gets discussed by scientists.